And what do Republicans have to say about all that's going on in Charlotte? Joining us now from our studio at Brookdale Community College is Senator Jennifer Beck. Senator, it's good of you to join us. Uh, what do you, from what you've been able to see with the Democrats, how would you characterize what they're doing compared to what you and your fellow Republicans were doing in Tampa? I don't think the format's that different. You know, you have a series of speakers that are seeking to compel not just their base, but also the undeclared voter to move in the direction of their candidate. So that, that part of the convention, I think, is pretty similar in how it's organized. Do you think that President Clinton, former President Clinton last night, was able to not only, you know, mobilize the Democratic base, but do you worry that he kind of got out there into that area of uh, the undecided, the undeclared, or the uh, previously uninterested? Well, I have to say, you know, I did listen to all 48 minutes of his speech. Um, I really thought that he started out in a space that was not partisan, but ended in a space that was very partisan. And I'm not so sure that undeclareds want to hear that. He, um, and he mapped out some things that I think were a little fuzzy, for example, talking about the $5 trillion in cuts that um, presidential candidate Romney has put forward and trying to suggest that that's a bad thing. I don't think most Americans believe that cuts to government are a bad thing, especially in this economy. Um, and then there were a couple other bits about the, the national health care reform that I'm not so sure the general public, I'm saying outside of the two parties, really buy into. Look, he's a good public speaker, but I thought he ended on a partisan note, and I'm not so sure that that compels those undeclared voters their way. Well, the president, of course, President Obama, will be speaking tonight. I guess the, in, many have said that the, as, as Romney's goal was to show the human side of himself, President Obama has to answer that question, are you better off four years from now uh, than you were four years ago? And President Clinton tried to address that as well. Do you think that the Democrats can win with any sort of answer on that? You know, I think most people's gut reaction, and I'm not talking about if you talk about 23 million unemployed or the five trillion in additional debt that President Obama has accrued under his reign, but I'm just talking that if you talk to the guy on the street about how they feel the last four years have been, they don't have a positive reaction and by and large don't feel they're better off than where they were. So I think keep repeating we are better, we are better, we are, doesn't change the basic opinion that's um, among the masses that they aren't better off and that they're pretty worried about the future. Here's something that we all in, in the press corps hear a lot, and I'm sure that you as well as a, as a representative here, and that is that both parties share a lot of the blame here. Do you, do you agree that after all is said and done with both these conventions that maybe both parties need to look inward as well as outward? Well, you know, I think people are tired of the bickering, especially when the stakes are so high. No question about it. I thought Governor Christie pointed to a lot of examples where he was able to lead and bring our parties together here in the state of New Jersey to accomplish some pretty big things, pension and health care reform, 2% um, cap on property taxes, etc. And people want to see more of that. I think they are tired of the bickering. I'm tired of the partisanship. There's too much at stake. Our economy is not doing well, and they really want to see some bipartisanship to get stuff done. Do you think that that will be able to be accomplished when you go back to work in Trenton? Because it sounds almost like the, the two sides are, are setting their positions rather firmly and getting ready for battle. Well, I have to say, I, when I listened to um, presidential candidate Romney, and I had a chance as a delegate to be up close and personal for that speech, I really believe that having been an elected in a state where there were only 13 percent Republicans and the rest were Democrats, and he was elected governor in that state, um, that he's a guy that knows exactly how to build those coalitions. I was thoroughly convinced by that. I don't believe he's driven by ego. I think he's really driven by doing the right thing here, and he's proven it. I mean, it, it's not easy to get an elected in a state where only 13 percent of your party are amongst the voters you have to appeal to. Senator? Um, when we go back to Trenton, I think we have equally tough issues to deal with, and I expect that we continue to work together as we have under the last three years of Governor Christie. Senator, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good to talk to you, Mike.